YouTube chaps and chapettes, Roggy here, welcome back to Minecraft. This time around, we're going to do what I said in the last episode, we're going to go hunting for that priest, because I'm not going to go back down into Moria, purely because it was taken so goddamn that that, that abandoned mineshaft is huge, and... What have I told you little shit kids about getting my bloody property? Seriously, learn to cocking read! So we need to find a priest in order so we can sell off all of this zombie flesh that we've got in order to get some more emeralds, because like I said, my main objective this particular time around is to turn, is to make that savannah village look nice and fortified because and again going with the particular rule until I find out about it or I need to otherwise need to I'm not going to look stuff up I'm still going to keep to that rule there's Moria so my objective this time is to go out into the wide blue yonder and find a village which has a priest in it in order so I can s Actually, I just fucking said all this. Why am I saying this again? Because once I can get the Savannah Village, which again, I still need to bloody your name. Once that's all up and about and sorted, I can then start look at growing the village and protect it. Make it all swifty, swifty swank. We are sailing. We are sailing over there. Across the sea, I've been there fortunately, no sword ain't nut for me, so out to bloody nowhere. I don't know the rest of this song. Obelisk of Meat Island, off into the distance. Know, does anything go weird on the seas when it's night time? I mean, I literally have just passed freaking Cthulhu's sunken toilet. Really, really wishing there was some form of air transport. That would be pretty sweet. Or a teleportation mechanic, even if it's like end game stuff. That'd be nice. Now, actually, the one handy thing I discovered about traveling at night, at least when you're on the water, because now I've found that there is, you know, no nasties knocking around, you know, it's not that there's going to be freaking cracking come out of the freaking ocean and non me, is it actually is rather easy to see villages, because if there's a light source, it's a village. Or it's a lava pit, one of the two, but it's a lot, normally a lot easier to tell which is which. Because, you know, lava pits don't tend to have buildings sticking out of them. Hello. You're a different colour. I've seen sand, 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 dirt, 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 tree, 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 tree. And now there's some sort of giant cheesecake on the horizon. Where the hell am I now? Okay, this is trippy. I understand how Minecraft's work, you know, there's literally like desert, 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 desert. There's not going to be like an Iceland right next to it, I would imagine. But this looks like freaking, um, like the American deserts, you know, with all the weird spires of lots of different colours. So, I sail north from freaking Saudi Arabia, and I'll wind up in Arizona. Sort of. With giant spiders. Well, it's a desert, camel spiders, etc. I guess, and creepers. So, is there something? Is there like a equivalent of temples in this particular desert, bro? Right. Die, 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 die. Oh god, there's there is rivers everywhere in this little seed. Excuse me, fellas, I'm trying to appreciate the landscape. I would much rather you be dead. Hello? A bit hungry. Hello, who are you? You a villager? What are you? You're not friendly, whatever the hell you are. Yeah, piss off. What? What the fuck? Okay, that's uh. What the? Wait, what? Killed by magic? What the fuck? Bitch! I don't know what just happened. I've no idea why I'm here and not back at base. Don't ask me. I genuinely don't know. I'll piss off you bloody 
witch, maybe? Oh, poo, I lost all my experience levels. Maybe well, most of them. Slag! Right, lesson learned. Stay the bloody buggering hell away from witches. Where's my boat? Sail, 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 sailing away from bitches. Right, lesson learned. I said killed by magic and she's got witches at, so I'm going to presume those are supposed to be witches. So yes, stay there, hell away from witches. So that was more of a, that was more of an irritation than anything else. Right, mind distraction aside, let's continue exploring Arizona. Hello? Wow! Now aren't you pretty indeed? Oh, what? look at that! Oh, and we, oh, hello, what's he, oh yeah, you just, uh, a little underground river. Now this is nice, this is cool, this is pretty damn cool looking, can I, is there a river for it? Uh, there appears to be. It, does it end? No, no, it <laughs> Now this is pretty swish. This is swish tickles and deedles. It's almost, almost like a freaking theme park ride. Can I get through that gap, please? I'd like to. All right, fine. I guess I'll go out on foot. Yoink. And all this was randomly generated. That is cool. That archer, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bloody well climb that. One second, sploosh. Hello. What are you doing out here? Is this another? Is this another abandoned mine? Because that's where I've seen these little, these little carts before. Well, fine. Never love look a gift horse in the mouth. What you're supposed to do is steal everything it has. Wow, this this is actually a lot bigger when you actually get up right up close to it. And the fact that all this is randomly generated, that that just blows my mind. And there's an, another another Moria. There's another abandoned mine shaft right below it. God damn. Then no, no, objective number one, climb to the top of it. A dip. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna get these random mine rails, but that appears to be Norway, right next door to Arizona. I need to brush up on my geography. I'm clearly very, very badly educated. More rails, as I said, I'm still gonna make freaking Barry live inside the. This is the. Uh, um, actually, no, I'm gonna leave that particular section outside to indicate the entrance, but there's another more. There's another abandoned mine shaft below. This one, damn. Ooh, I'm sort of, I'm sort of spawned as all like, which would I prefer to have spawned at? You know, around here, so I've got that and living up there where the trees are. Ah, I'm gonna have to do a lot more stuff off camera because this, I was like, with the last episode being whatever the hell length it turned out to be, that was just trying to explore Moria. I don't know if there's freaking desert dwarf things in Tolkien. I. Know, it's been so many years since I actually read Lord of I had to read the entire Lord of the Rings for my, for, what was that, like 13, 14 for like my schoolwork that year or something for literacy, the English class. And like, okay, a little bit of the big ask. Sincerely doubt the priest is up there, but you never know. So, wait, is this less hardened clay that it was? It is. Okay, right, well, I don't need you. So like the so the stained clay that was in the freaking temples, this is where it comes from. So this so this entire was biome, isn't it? So this entire biome is made out of freaking stained clay. Oh god, am I gonna be able to make this jump? Probably not! Kind of sort of maybe kind of. What's broken ankle? It's a 
broken ankle in this particular environment. Because that's probable death. <laughs> wow. God, there's mesas and everything. A little, another little hot cave over there. Damn, okay, this could be... This area has got serious potential, because... I really want to build like a tower on top of that spire just to see how high I can make it. That would take freaking forever. No, 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 Savannah Village, I've I've made an investment into that community, so I shall support it. Well, I may be many things, but uh, Pratt is well, definitely one of them. I am out of the Pratt in the mask, but I'm not going to abandon those little weird penis-faced people purely because they have my money. How the bloody am I going to get down from here? Ow. 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 No, no, okay, right, continuing the mission. Continuing the mission to find a priest. Uh, where's my boat? I'm now to sail the unknown little river between Arizona and Norway. I think it's called the Atlantic. So, I'm heading away from the spawn. Maybe that's how it works? Maybe the spawn is supposed to be like a pole of the world. Because, look at the, look at the little compass right now, right at the bottom of the screen. Can I bring it up? I can. It's pointing straight towards the spawn so yeah i'm pretty much going straight straight away from it so presumably i'm going south because those look like pine trees to me go on bennett noise huge arizona is huge yeah, which one do i choose because i can't do another mine i can't do two mine shaft episodes in one fell swoop that would be a bit much maybe i don't know that's the problem with this, because I do like quite a lot of other YouTubers do, is I record in big chunks and then put them out. So I don't know what the response to this chunk of the Minecraft series has been so far. I mean, as nice as this little excursion is, I do need those villages. So there were loads around the spawn. Maybe that's how it works. There's more stuff close to the spawn, and the further you get away, you get more interesting areas, but uh, less actual peoples. Like I said, you haven't seen the little village explorations off camera because the only different thing about the villages I found was the existence of um, like blacksmith armourers, which is where I actually I didn't actually make this armour. I just found it in a chest in the back of a village fort and just nicked it. They didn't seem too bothered. Or at least if they did, I didn't understand what they were saying and they didn't try and take it back from me by force. So, um, eminent domain? Or Latin for finders keepers, whatever that be. Really wish I had a flying vehicle. I mean, I know I can fly in creative mode, but uh, with the whole little achievements list, which I'm not looking at the moment because I've, well, I've made my own little quest, find Father Dougal. Oh, uh, that's back to, getting back to the desert areas. I've got, there's loads of deserts around here. Seems like they're sort of like a um, big chunk of desert. Savannah, hills with um, trees in them then Arizona, then Norway, and now back to scattered islands, like around the spawn. I need to keep an eye out for freaking sunken temples of Cthulhu. I couldn't see any over in the Arizona area. Because I went up to like a pretty high point and there was no sign of life anywhere. And when I went to the, did the equivalent over back, back near the spawn by the savannah, I could see one, and always at least one, maybe sometimes even two villages from like a relatively high point. And there's nothing over there, so like Arizona is literally hostile to life. Norway is freaking covered in trees. I can't see. Uh, what's the time? All right, I'm gonna do a bit more sailing and wait for the next day to pass. So I can, I'm gonna explore Norway next. I'm gonna explore Norway uh, during the day. I suppose I could always just run up a tree at the night. You know, you might have a problem with alcohol is when you're drinking mulled wine because you can't be asked to go out and get beer. Oh, but like I said before, I, I definitely found what I like the most. <laughs> I mean, I'm probably missing so much about the point of Minecraft, but what I'm finding I'm liking the most about it is just the, just the exploration, just the wandering around, finding things. Like I said, I had no idea the Arizona... I'm going to call it the Arizona biome and the Norway biome. I had no idea those biomes existed. Not a one. Not a one. Eh, let's have a shifty of this little island. Eh. That's a big tree. Anything at all? Because off camera, when I was doing some mining back on uh, Yunos Island, the island I landed at after the initial spawn island of uh, Meat Island, that's become known as Meat Island, I didn't really encounter... Hmm. Yeah, another little problem because... Oh, hello. 
Yeah, another little problem I've encountered is that the further... When it seems, I don't know if it's just because of the way the Windows 10 edition goes, maybe it's just the way Minecraft goes, but the game does tend to lag a little bit when you're going to absolutely brand spanking new air. So you see now I've stopped. Frame rate's absolutely fine. Go a little bit forward. Oh. Yeah, then we get a little bit of lag. So I'm guessing that maybe it generates the world on the fly, but then quote unquote renders the world once you actually get there. Hmm. It's gonna make recording a little bit of a bitch. But before anyone says anything, I have turned down the render distance. It's at like was it like a couple of a couple of biomes or so? Or wherever look however far the distance is measured. I think it's just the way the game is is the game's architecture is set out. You can see if I go back the way I came. Yeah, frame rate's absolutely fine. So I guess I should probably just camp off the coast of Norway. So I don't know what the golden apples do. I don't really want to because considering I seem to keep finding them in chests, I'm presuming they're quite valuable. Well they're made of gold. I don't even know if you can eat them. Can you? Oh, okay, you apparently can. Okay, I don't want to eat it all the way though. At least I know there's some more there's some more rails over in the freaking Minecraft. What was it? Clammy. There we are. I just remembered the name that I was thinking of. The I don't know if it's from like the Disney Disneyland ride or whatever, but there's a ride in a in a theme park here in Britain called a Calamity Canyon, which is like your good old fashioned like minecart ride, you know. One of the things, so I think that's what I'm going to call the Arizona. The Arizona area is now the Arizona area is Arizona, but the mine the minecart section itself, that weird little um like arch with all the holes underneath it, that's now called Calamity Canyon. Okay, so I've got Cthulhu's Temple, Calamity Canyon, Barry's Temple, that uh, name to be determined, and uh, the Savannah Village again, name to be determined. Come on, can night be over all bloody ready? If I find the ships. I can probably make it up. Derp. In my, this particular little Minecraft world, there's rivers everywhere. So screw it, I'll just sail for the fjords. See if there's any mooses. Dogs? Wolves? Well, you do you guys and I'll say the uh, hell away from you. So how far do these rivers go? Because I've encountered these all the time, like even through the desert I'll be literally going through it and then boff there'll be a river right in the middle of bloody nowhere. Oh yeah, I hear spitters, so that's my cue to bugger off. God, that section in the freaking mine, oh that will... If that was like realistic quote unquote graphics, that would haunt me. Ugh, unlimited spiders, ugh. Ugh, not nice. Before anyone says that arachnophobia is stupid, yeah, spiders can still kill you. There's only a few of them, but they can still kill you, so it's actually a pretty good evolutionary response. To be honest, Norway's seeming pretty boring at the moment. I mean, I'm presuming the biomes have different stuff underneath them. That's the question I would have. Because I don't th think so, because that wouldn't make a great deal of sense. It would make far more sense to have the underground be its own separate thing. And have the overworld biomes be different. Right, 99% positive that <laughs> Norway does not have sugarcane growing beside the rivers. Like, I won't talk because I've never been to Norway, but uh, I'm pretty much happy to call it out that no, that's not a thing. How far long is this river? Because even the other rivers, like in the desert and the savannah, they did not go this long. Ah. So this huge long fjord leads to a natural cave system. Hmm. Don't think I will, because like I said, I'm pretty certain the underground doesn't need to... This is looking more like whales now. So, where hell I go? Well, at least this is nice and simple, because with the compass, which is probably the most valuable thing I've ever bought in the... In the game, or at least acquired, because it doesn't matter how far I go, I will not get lost because I can just, so long as my food holds out, I can just head straight for me island and then proceed to eat everything inside. So Norway's full of wolves, or, or dogs, whatever those actually are. 
Okay, pigs can be pigs. Right, okay, let's actually go exploring the land itself. Damnation. Hello! Are you cool? No, right? At the very least, they don't seem like hostile, hostile. The one thing I am utterly mystified to is the like, just going back to that, the witch fight in the desert, because I'm presuming they're witches, is why the hell? Why is all of the. Ah. Okay, red ones. So why in all of the hell I didn't respawn back at either Meat Island or at the temple? I don't know why that's a thing. No. No. That sounded like it said no. I don't like that. Okay, so so far Norway is a cocking massive river and valleys and then a lord of trees. So I'm still going north. But I haven't seen any I haven't seen any villages yet, which is what I want, but all the villages around the spawn I've already been to, and apart from the ones that have the forge, which I mentioned, they're the same as the Savannah Village, and I've already started trading with the Savannah Village, and I might as well just keep my investment there. Right, so we're not cheating here, because as I said, when I either think of something that I want and see if there is, or if I directly find it, that's when it looked up. It looks up, what can you use, what can you use, um, mushrooms for? You can... Doing them in a few things, but the main thing you can do is eat them. And that's... What was the bloody thing again? Where are you? I've got... I have loads of you. Where have you gone? There you are. There we are. Mushroom stew. Do you stack? You don't. There you are. So that's handy. So, um... I should probably have you in my inbox anyway. Inbox, inventory, and uh, yep, and continue away from spawn. I wonder if if the world is actively infinite, or if it's a case of it does get to a point and it wraps round to the beginning, not the actual world itself, the gl a globe. No, I don't want to commit suicide, thank you very much. But like I said, what I want to see is I want to see if there's a bloody, um, if there are villages. Because you would think it would make sense that, uh, well, well, Rog, if someone's going to build a bloody village, not going to build it in a freaking valley, are you? One, I would say, see Wales. Secondly, I would point out that uh, I've actually, with the villages that I've been to that I've mentioned, there have actually been a few which have been not built into the side of cliffs. You know, well, not into the side of cliffs, but you know, over pretty rocky terrain. So it wouldn't really make a lot of sense to declare that outright. He says declaring something outright. We cool, bro? We cool? Seriously, wars have been extinct in Britain for like six, five, six hundred years or whatever bloody long it's been. I don't really want to have to be the first one to encounter you bastards again. Bacarak? Warwick? Hmm. One. I keep coming up with these random ideas and saying, oh, I wonder if someone's made a mod for it. Of course they bloody well have. And I was literally just thinking, oh, I wonder if anyone's made a mod to put chocobos in this. Of course I have. One of the most famous series in the freaking world, and one of the... No, I said, I did look up. It's, it's considering the length of time Minecraft's been around, it probably will overtake Tetris as being the most popular game of all time. Ah, are we nearing the river? I kind of wish I'd spawned here now. Food, uh, pardon me, Wooly. Food everywhere. Nice little glade. It's Norway, so the temperature's not the desert. I can live there because God, I, I just, I just can't work with the heat. I just stop functioning, as do most Britons. Unfortunately, these days, climate change, blah 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 blah. And before anyone says anything about climate change in the comments, what's so bloody ever? No, 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 no. When I was a kid, I had maybe three, two, three, maybe even four. Not one hundred percent, but winters where there was snow, proper snow where you could go sledding, not just um, white rain. Which sounds a little bit dirty. Now, and my my parents can think about um, winters as winters as well, multiple winters more so than me when it was the even heavier and the exact same. And my grandparents literally said about how there are days when days when they, no, there was like even freaking months where not pretty much no one could work because it was just snow everywhere, no one could get anywhere. And nowadays we haven't seen snow in maybe a decade. 
Just saying, there is evidence. And not evidence just from like spots in a lab coat, as in literal just people just looking at the world and saying, hmm, something's different. I've got two choices. I can run and gun throughout the entire night and pray that I don't die and get walked back because otherwise I'm going to lose my clock and my compass and that cost me 20 emeralds. Or I can hope that in the desert that literally borders Norway that there's a temple somewhere I can put my head down. Because Barry has certain standards now. He won't go into any freaking mansions but uh, temples he's alright with. Don't you fucking... God damn kids. This may not be my land, but beggar off. What the hell is that thing? Sorry, I just see this little black shape running around down there. What the hell are you... You rabbit? Okay. Yeah, random, random black rabbit. Okay, all the other ones I've seen have been sand coloured. Alright, so Barry's back on the open waves, because we've... Literally gone straight north, all the way through Norway. We're back in the desert again. I must be like at the freaking... I don't know, to, to be honest. Because logic would dictate that I'm in the desert, so therefore I'm in the, the middle of the globe. And then I've walked into Arizona, which means a little bit north of that band. And now Norway, which would indicate a little bit more, so... Apart from the incredibly bloody noisy rain, means that if I continue this way, I should hit ice? I mean, that would make sense to me? But then again, I have been drinking like I normally do, and I'm in the desert. Hmm, let's find out. Because looking over there, to the west of Norway, is a freaking savannah again. But savannas are where there are villages. And random trivia knowledge is there's actually more Christians in Africa than anywhere else in the world right now. I'm not going to go into why I think that is, but, you know, that is a thing. That is a genuine thing. Like I said, I'm looking for villages and I'm looking for churches. But where on earth I'm going to find them, I don't know, because this is... This is strange. I, they were so, so... Um, I'm not moving because of the, the juddering that you've seen. I'm sorry about that. There's nothing nothing I can really do about that because I suppose I could set the settings even lower, but they don't do anything, really, to be honest. I've checked. It's just, just the way the game's built. Maybe it's the Pocket Edition versus Java. I don't know. Because my rig is, is still less than a year old and it's still pretty high-end, so it's not that. Especially with this. This is 16-bit graphics. It is. 16 by 16. That's the texture of all of this stuff. Okay, I know this is going to seem a bit weird, but I'm going to go into that desert that's here that's north of the Norway biome. I'm just, I'm just going to call it that. Because at the very least there might be a temple, and with temples there are, there are things to steal. Which is apparently what Barry does nowadays. That's a bit of a cliche, I walk into the desert and the rain bloody stops. Oh, the desert, um, no, da but as a first light source I've seen for a hell of a long time, it's a bloody lava pit. It's kind of a, it's kind of disappointing, really, that Norway was such a bust. I mean, maybe there's stuff in there that I just simply didn't happen to walk past during my time there. And there seems to be a second Norway, Norwegian island over there. But I'm definitely going to go... I've been recording nearly an hour my end, but not much has happened. I don't know whether I want to find a priest... In this particular episode, or if that's going to be like an overarch overarching thing for the series, trying to find freaking Dougal. But either way, we're going to keep on going until I at least find something other than Norway. And it's raining again, hooray. Well, the, well, the last well I dug, I didn't have freaking Moria under it. And, um, oh, I didn't bring, a, didn't bring a backup pickaxe with me, and the one I've got is pretty buggered. So, I'll just have to leave whatever nightmares are under there for another time. Whilst we're traversing the desert and bugger all is happening, so obviously, whenever I find a village, dig under the wells and dig under those wells as well. Well, well, well. Make the plane safe. And, yeah. So that's my big objectives for this current one. But I've also found, also found on 
But just a completely different section, just like all these Minecraft challenges. One of which I found a few which I found pretty damn cool. But you know, this is still going to be my exploration series. I may make a hello, never mind, I found a village. I wasn't even bleeding. That looks like a church to me. Let's have a shifty, shall we? Purple robe villager. You've got a different robe on. Don't run away. I'm just a heavily armoured individual running at you with a sword. But see, I'm eating, I'm eating mushroom strew. I'm, a, I'm totally inoffensive. I wish I happened to be made of mushrooms. Wouldn't put past it in this world. Right, where were you? Oh. No, seriously, where the hell were you? I saw you. Purple row. Purple rain. Where did you go? Um. Pardon me. For, oh, pardon me for being slightly sacrilegious, but uh, so this is a. So this is a church. Is it a church? I don't know. Maybe this is a freaking fort. Why are they running away from me? I haven't done. This village is huge. Comparatively speaking. Mm. You're so far away, though, from where I was. I can't do anything with that. Um, yeah, I don't want to be set on fire again. So I should probably fix this. You know, you really don't want to piss off the religious peoples. For multiple reasons. And uh, where was the door? There was the door. So, door? Yeah, that'll do. Let's dig up a chunk of sand. There you are, now you can get inside your your little priest place. Church. How the hell did I forget how to say church? Um, okay, purple guy, purple robe fellow, where are you? So I'm gathering that was the priest, but... Um, ah, wait, wait, wait. Oh, cleric. So, right, okay, give me all of your stuff. I realise I may have travelled like literally halfway around the bloody world for something which I could have just done with farming all of those, all of the potatoes, all of the carrots, all of the wheat and so forth. But what else was I going to do with all of this? I can kidnap you. Well, you seem to have made this village rather poorly because you can't actually freaking get up to where you need to go, so... Oh, well, let's help these poor, poor penis space people out. Right. This is how you get inside your doors, peoples. I could have sworn I saw one of them in a black robe, which doesn't mean he's a bad guy. That means they're the armourers that I mentioned earlier. Really? I'm, I'm that scary. See yourself? I don't know. Maybe someone turning up that doesn't have a penis for a nose is a freaking sign of the apocalypse. I don't know their culture. All I know, these people have never even met the other villagers. Money, there's loads of them. Are these? Are they... Yeah, that's a cactus, mate. You might want to. Okay, so farmers seem to have a pretty standard setup. Alright. I'll screw it. The chance of me ever coming back to this place is so bloody remote. I might as well rip the entire place off. So, what have we actually got here? Oh, um, just realised. So that squeaky, that squeaky door noise is incredibly irritating. So let me just wander into the desert to avoid the neighbours. That's better. What I should have done is all those sheep I encountered in Norway, I should have gotten the wool from them, gotten a bit of wood and made a bed. Because like I said, what I've, what I've discovered previously is that the mobs spawn at night or in certain circumstances. So if I hang around this place during the night, the mobs are going to attack and kill everyone. Because they have done that. There's been a few of the savannah, the little savannah, like these little hut sort of things that have no doors and are now empty because they got attacked. What are you? Butcher, that's another one. 
Oh, if only you guys were freaking next door to my temple, I would have made you the chosen village. But, uh, unfortunately, you're just going to get raided and left to die. Speaking of getting raided, did I, I could have sworn. Did I see one in a black robe? I'm not sure if I did. Because I can't see a forge anywhere. They're kind of fairly flat roof sort of dealios. Right, okay, so. No, no. But I say, now this village, this village is literally, like, literally at, at an hour's real time travel away from my main area. I would have to take everything I have, including Thunder Horse, somehow cross the entire ocean, go through Arizona, go through Norway as well, to try and get to this place, just for a church. I mean, that sounds bloody terrible, but uh, what's the time of day? Okay, I've got some time. I'm going to see if there, ow, if there's anything under this... It's his, it's his village, I ain't going to question him. I'm going to see if there's anything under his particular little area. And by that, you dirty-minded sods, I mean if there's anything... Bollocks. Uh, well, screw it, I don't care about this village, so I just want to get rid of all the water. I feel somehow I've made this worse. Right, okay. So it's pretty damn deep, so... I suppose if I start digging sort of here-ish... Sand, that's actually kind of good. I've no idea how deep I'm supposed to go though. So I'll just go until I feel like I've gone deep enough. Oh, did I bring torches? Oh, good I did. Thank you, me from the past. And a little bit forward just to see. I can always just plug it up. Is that the top? Ah, in other words, yes. Um, damn, uh, what do I want to get rid of? Oh, well, I hear this village being horribly, horribly raided. So, therefore, you. Like I said, fortuitously, I don't give a crap about this. I mean, yes, this is the first place I've found Father Dougal, but it's just too far. It's just too far away to be viable for me. So at least now I know that that's the actual... That's the actual well itself up there. So theoretically, what I see... A problem. I've been an absolute prat. I have been a serious, serious prat. Um... Okay, save myself. I've got cobblestone and I've got these wood planks from somewhere. Oh yeah, I cut down a tree in Norway. So that means I can at least get out of here. Because I was like to say, oh, I've got a very, very knackered pickaxe. Okay, so beneath the wells. So that previous advice led me to freaking Moria. So maybe there's something down here. Okay, no. I'm going to do a spiral staircase like I did all the way back in Barry's temple pad okay seriously guys you guys literally have swords and whatnot sitting in your freaking forge well not this particular village but village in general you know you might want to learn how to use them again that's something i'm kind of surprised it's not in there uh, you know either like you can trade a sword to a villager they become a guard or just just guards in general i'm surprised that's not a thing Right, time for some quickie forging. Um, no, not the rabbit. I want the Grofton Dipple. Uh, oh, no. Stick. Stick, 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 stick. And cobblestone, cobblestone, cobblestone. No, I don't really have room. Right. You stay there, and I'll just have to keep on going and wonder if I find something. I'm doing it caveman style. I've literally got a particularly pointy bit of rock tied to a stick. You really can't get much more basic than that. I'm 
mean, I know I'm so late to Minecraft, it's literally stupid, as this is the case, but, but now that I've actually looked up like a couple of how-tos on YouTube as well, the amount of time in my recommended tabs I get like, here is another Minecraft video, it's like, dude, I looked at it once. Chill your tits, please. Well, that was a bleak waste of time. I did my little spiral staircase dig all the way down to the bottom of the well. And I've hit this stuff, which I've now found out, I've now found out it's called bedrock. This is literally the underside of the world. This is the absolute, literally the absolute valley limit. And yeah, I can't get a fake. Yeah, there's redstone now. I don't have any. I, I did dig it out with iron with um, stone tools. You don't get nothing. You need the iron tools at least. I mean, are they gold tools? Are they diamond tools? Well, there's diamond, the diamond tip stuff in real life, and I have seen like all those pictures and whatnot of people in like blue armor of the same shade that the diamond are that's knocking around. So I'm presuming that's it. This is a bit of a cluster bugger, isn't it? Get out of the way. Thank you. A little bit annoyed I have to travel so blimmin' far just to find a freaking priest, and I'm pretty certain the guy's dead by now. Oh, you're already covered in gold. Give me your gold. Get out of the way. I got some experience points back. Nah. So jump with all this. Okay, so let's see. Let's let's run over to that island so things at least calm down a tad. Right. So now we're away from that cluster mess that is that village over yonder. I'm still really disappointed. It takes so long to get to a village that has a freaking priest. Now I'm gonna find out if I actually just went east like two villages over. There's one right there. That would be sod's law. But uh, okay, where was it? Yeah, I was. Saying this early, I mean, doing, doing me quite and quite outro at the moment. One of the things I was going to mention is I found quite um, quite a few challenges, but the challenges that are not like you have to download this mod, you have to screw around with these settings. And that is the good old fashioned self imposed chance, like pacifist runs and whatnot. Uh, so I've got a, f I've got a few here. I'm not going to do them yet. My main stuff at the moment. Okay, so let's scratch off, find a priest, and put really cocking far past Norway exclamation point I've still got to dig under the village walls. I'll keep that marker up so I know what I need to do but like I said I did I really want to make the savannah village like my haven and try and grow that because I have looked it up you can make villages bigger you can do that and that's going to be my big thing to do but with the challenges that I've mentioned so I'm going to keep, as I said, Minecraft is still going to be a as and when I feel like it's serious. It's not, I'm not going to become a Minecraft channel. I'm, as much as I like the game, I've seen like what's happened to like channels like uh, Dan the Diamond Minecraft and whatnot. It's like they can't do anything other than Minecraft. The audience just wants Minecraft. End of story. Gordon Bennett, I don't want that. There are far too many games I want to play in my life. Thank you very much indeed. It's as much fun as this one is. The, the challenges I found, which I'll probably do in like subsequent series or side series or whatever. So one is a beard dwarf. Which, in other words, means you, you go underground, that's it. You never go up to the surface. You've got to survive underground only. A be a dryad, dryad as in the, the tree spirits of, like, is it Greek legend? I think it's so. So basically, stay in the forest only and never go underground. So the inverse of the dwarf. Be a nomad, which is kind of what I'm, kind of what I'm doing at the moment, which is basically constantly travel. You have to travel at least one, like, biome a day. So, like, me, in this particular episode, I would have done quite a few days travelling. So I went from, like, the desert to Arizona, to Norway, and back to another desert. So that'd be like four days worth of travel, so to speak. Another one, this one I've read up, because when I did the, um, the Redstone Mansion in episode three, I think it was when I did the, yeah, the Redstone Mansion special. And I went down to hell, and I found that hell was literally a thing in Minecraft. You know, the most popular game that kids play these days. That um, says a lot, to say the least. So yeah, but basically, live in hell. That sounds pretty freaking metal to me. The else. Another interesting one is Castaway, which is basically, you know, the, the same for example that the first time the island that we spawned at, Meat Island. Never leave Meat Island. You've got to survive just there, which has potential, but could also be a little bit dull. It will be one of those ones you have to just get lucky with your spawn more than anything else. Okay, no one, Vampire, one which sounded more just like a making what I'm doing at the moment even more challenging which is basically travel in the night only and don't use any light sources whatsoever so basically a hell of a lot of combat and anything else and the other one which um went by various names but I like to call it the Sea Lab 2021 version which is like basically you have to live underwater not sure how that's going to work without basically playing through the game and finding some sort of 
breathe underwater like apparatus or enchanted stuff or whatever the hell more than anything else but there's I'm just finding out so much about this game and I, I, I like it I really am enjoying finding out things about because that's some that's one of the things I like most about games is finding out how the little world they've made works you know what are the what are the rules what how can you bend them but not snap and break them that actually really third but do it but doing that sort of thing that's what i like most and that is re that's really what i'm finding the most interesting about minecraft the moment. yes there's all of the like oh you can make redstone circuits to make automated like farms and you can like make computers within it like the one of the videos which i've seen recently for that is someone managed to make pokemon within minecraft and I don't mean as in literally they made it so that they changed us to spiders and our Pikachu or whatever. No, 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 they literally made it so there is a circuitry of the map which then plays Minecraft on like a little screen within the game itself. That is that, that that's insane. That is insane. But that's what happens when you put electronic circuitry and logic systems within your game architecture. People are going to do batshit crazy stuff like that. Either way, we're at an hour and 20 minutes, so I'm going to cut this episode of Minecraft here. What we're going to happen is, in the interim, I'm going to head back to the main base, and what we're going to do in the next episode is we're going to start fortifying and building Savannah Village, which, again, I still need to name. And I don't know if I'm going to have time for you guys to name it in the interim. I might wind up naming it myself. Either way, for the moment, thank you very much indeed for watching this silly video of mine. Go and have a look at the channel, see if there's anything else I've done which takes your fancy. If so, have a little look-see. Bar means, bar means, my friend. Subscribe if you want to, but most importantly, please be wonderful to each other. Good night.